So here in Clip Studio Paint, um, to have a clipping layer, you just need to have another layer on top of whatever layer you you want to clip. Then click over here, right? Clip to layer below, and whatever that's um whatever is visible. Say I have black spot over here, then I put a red. Um, it won't show up on the other areas. So if you want to do something like this, do um Krita. Um, it's a little bit more complicated in Krita on how like clipping layers work. So in Krita, basically you need to have a group first if you want to have um some sort of clipping behavior. I'm gonna add uh, a black spot over here. Then I group it. So right now it's in a group, and then I'm gonna add a new layer. So you can just do that by going over here on the plus icon for this layer that you want to have the transparency kind of limited. You need to click this A button here this little a thing here so you need to have that enabled and then what's gonna happen is if i paint say a red over here you can see it's now clipped to the layer below then if i turn this off then it would disappear and if you want to stack more layers like that you can just do the same thing say i want to have a yellow then clip it then put it over here so works like that same way with clipping layers in clip studio paint so but First, you need to have a group. That way, um, Krita knows where you're clipping it to. Because usually, um, it will just take the bottom layer, right? So that's kind of like why the group needs to exist. If this wasn't in a group, say I have something like this, then I try to clip it. You, you can see now that it's not clipping to the right layer because it also has this background thing over here. So if I remove that, it will now clip to the layer below. But since I have a background layer over here, um, it's not like behaving correctly. So that's why I need to group these things together. So hopefully you understand how like the clipping system works in Krita. If you want to lock the transparency or lock the alpha, um, the same way here in Clip Studio Paint where you need to click this one, lock transparent pixels. Um, in Krita, you just need to click on this one, the one right beside um, the A. So instead of clicking on the A, you press on this like checkerboard pattern that will lock the transparent pixels the same way in Clip Studio Paint. Now, um, now that I have like this orange selected, I can paint over this one and you can see that I'm not painting like beyond um, outside this layer. So I'm only painting on like the black pixels because that's the only visible part of this layer. So that's how you do that. And if you want to mask out something, you go over here on the plus sign, you go click the drop down button, then look for look for transparency mask. So I have this set up to shift F because I use it a lot, but this is this isn't bound to any key by default. So you need to set your own shortcut for this. So if I add the transparency mask, you can see like my color picker turns into black and white. Then if I paint black on this layer, it will erase it. If I paint white, it will bring it back so much like how you know a regular mask works